All right, the list is finally done. We're coming in the top 100 rappers of all time, 20 through one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into this one, put the screen right up here so we can see it. We last left off at number 21, which was LL. And coming in at number 20 is Method Man. I, this one, I'm kind of surprised to see Method Man in the top 20. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna say I'm not too disappointed, but I am actually a little disappointed. Uh, again, huge Method Man fan. Uh, <laughs> been a fan since obviously Wu Tang came out. To Cal uh, is one of those albums that would uh, kind of shaped my uh, kind of later teenage years. Huge fan of Method Man. I'm just surprised to see him in this list, especially in an overall rappers list, just because I don't know that his catalog really puts him into a top 20 list for me. To Cal is. To Cal for me is like a four and a half mic. I don't know if I would give it a five mic, uh, but definitely four and a half for me. It, incredible album. He's got a few good ones after that. His work with Redman uh, on the Blackout album is incredible also. Uh, but again, and of course his features are always crazy. Uh, but again, I'm surprised to see him this high on the list. Not that I would move him too far back, but I'd probably move him a little further back. Definitely behind LL. Coming in at number 19, Ghostface. This is one that I'm actually very happy to, with this one. Like I said, Ghostface is probably my favorite Wu-Tang rapper, so not disappointed with this one at all. Again, I think his catalog is incredible and he's still putting out hot music. Cool G Rap, uh, absolute legend. I can definitely see why Cool G Rap would be in a top 20. So not disappointed with that one at all. Drake at 18. Uh, obviously, I can see why you put Drake in a top 20. Again, I don't know how much of his stuff is written by other people, but Drake, as far as like catalog and what he's done, yeah, you really can't be mad at that one. And, and, and again, I don't know that it's 20 years, but <laughs> for the last like, I, I mean, ever since he's come out, Drake has been at the top. So I can see why somebody would put him there. Black Thought at 16, absolutely agree with this one. Uh, even if you put Black Thought in a top 10, I would still be okay with that. Absolute incredible MC. And uh, even outside of the roots, uh, his work is incredible. And again, one of those guys that I think gets overlooked a little bit, but uh, obviously not overlooked enough to, uh, he's made it to the list here. Uh, but when you see a lot of lists, kind of uh, anybody talking online, if you ever jump on TikTok or anything like that, people putting in their top list, a lot of people leave out Black Thought, which is a shame. MF Doom in at number 15, absolutely. I uh, could not agree with this more. Doom is incredible. Definitely RIP to Doom, absolutely a shame and uh, well deserving to be in the top 20. Chuck D at number 14, it, absolutely. Again, I'd like to know where they're coming up with this list. Not that I'm disappointed with this one at all. Uh, Public Enemy is in my top five of all time. Chuck D is incredible. I, but if we're going, I see, and I hate to even say anything against Chuck D because he's one of my favorites of all time. Like I said, Public Enemy is in my top five, hands down. Uh, but as far as like an MC lyrically or anything like that, I mean, obviously uh, there's a lot of people lyrically that are better than Chuck D. But again, his impact, not only in hip hop, but his impact to the world is incredible. So yeah, I could definitely see this one. Not disappointed with this one at all. Little Wayne in the top 13. I, I probably would have moved Wayne to a top 10, but again, not disappointed. Might be disappointed when we get to the top 10 and see a couple people in there, because there's still one person that uh, she hasn't been mentioned yet, and I guarantee she shows up in a top 10. And if she's above Wayne, I, we got some discussions that need to be had. Lupe Fiasco, uh, yeah, I could. Again, I'm not a giant fan of Lupe, but I can see why he would be up this high. I again not I've listened to all his albums, not a huge fan, but uh, I can definitely see why people put him up high. Scarface, absolutely seeing him. I, I think this is a good placement for Scarface. Huge, not only in rap, but the I mean, Texas area, I, I mean, getting into that southern rap scene you can't mention or you can't you can't even mention hip hop without mentioning Scarface and the Ghetto Boys so good placement on that one Kendrick uh this top 10 list is crazy to put Kendrick at 10 big fan of Kendrick the guy is incredible I, again some of his albums and the like the concept pieces that he's put together i mean a lot of people will just never touch KRS-One a uh, little surprised to see KRS-One this high 
Uh, again, not that I disagree with it. I love KRS-One. He's one of my top favorites. Uh, all time Boogie Down Productions, KRS One. I mean, everything. The guy is an absolute beast in the game. And what he's brought to hip hop, I mean, can't be touched. Ice Cube, there we go. See, Ice Cube for me is in my top five. And not only my personal top five, but Ice Cube would be in a top five list overall. What he did to hip hop, uh, his first four albums, all four of his first four albums are absolute classics. And then you think about the work he did with N.W.A., uh, Easy e Those are two classics. I mean, this guy, it, you can't get much better than Ice Cube. Uh, again, like I was saying a few episodes back, his later work definitely falls off for me. But still, it, it, Cube always deserves a spot in the top 10. Rakim, absolutely. Uh, again, for me, Rakim is easily top 10. Uh, personal or overall, if we're just talking hip hop in general, uh, B.I.G. B.I.G. is one of those guys, like I was saying earlier when I was talking about Big L. I don't disagree with putting Biggie this high. Uh, I wouldn't be disappointed if he was in the top 10 to 20, just because, like I was saying in a previous episode, his lack of catalog should work against him a little bit. And I hate even saying that because Biggie is he, such a monster. But again, I will say one of the things with Biggie and why he always gets in a top 10, if not a top five, is for the little work that he did put out, he did not miss. The guy doesn't have a bad album, bad song, bad feature, nothing. Number five, Eminem. Absolutely agree with this one. Uh, he, he deserves to be in a top 10 no matter what you say. Uh, the guy is just a monster. Andre 3000, uh, again, like I was saying earlier when I was talking about Big Boy, Andre 3000 always gets put above Big Boy, which I can see why. Absolutely love seeing him on this list. Not disappointed with that one at all. A lot of people will get on him because, uh, or put him further back in the list because he doesn't have a lot of solo work. But again, if you look at, uh, what is it, uh, Love Below uh, and Speaker Box, those albums together, I mean, those are solo albums. So he does have one solo album. And again, his work with Outkast, I mean, just absolutely incredible. Tupac at number three, uh, not again, not disappointed with that one. I'd probably move Pac a little further back. And I will say huge fan of Tupac since like even digital underground days. Yeah, I'm not disappointed with that. Me personally, I'd move him back a little bit further, but yeah, that's that's good placement. Uh, the next two are obvious ones. Yeah, and this is the way I thought it would come down. Uh, Jay-Z, absolutely incredible. Uh, within the last couple of years, he's gotten a ton of hate He's always been in a top two discussion with the other guy that's clearly number one here. And for some reason in the last couple of years, he's gotten a lot of hate and moved further down on the list, which I do not understand because there were so many years where Jay-Z, if not one or two in the game for years straight. So uh, very good placement. And going to number one is obviously Nas. This one for me, hands down, this is number one. It's uh, especially when you consider the work he's done with Hit Boy over his last six albums. I mean, the guy was a top one, two discussion even before this last six. And coming up into the last six albums that he just did with Hit Boy are absolutely incredible, which is easily why I would put him number one and uh, definitely happy that they put him on this list at number one. All right, so that's pretty much it with this one. If you agree, disagree, let me know in the comment section down below, where would you move these and uh, kind of how would you structure it? All right, and that's it. We'll see you in the next list.